I think at this point, I, look, both Japan and South Korea know the fundamental reality of geography. You know, the U.S. has the luxury of having an ocean separating it from China. They don't have that luxury. And I think there is a, a basic understanding that they have to find some way of living with China because they're next door. However, and I know, you know, looking at some of the reporting, the Japanese reporting about the summit, there are expectations that there's going to be a focus on the trilateral FTA that they've talked about. And I expect that if there's a change of administration in the United States in November, you're certainly going to see, and I think we saw this in 2017 as well, uh, Japan-China relations picked up, that there was a sort of mutual commitment to uh, protecting the trade, the free trading system. A, a, a mutual understanding that they all benefit from that. And so we might see a little more hedging uh, on the economic side, trying to find opportunities to deepen ec economic ties amongst themselves. Tobias Hyde, maybe just picking up on that thread here, I just wonder how you balance the relative weights of the economic side of the equation with the geopolitical one. I think lately not very well. I mean, I think, you know, and, and it really is striking that I think there's interest maybe in both Beijing and Tokyo, uh, if we just want to look at that bilateral relationship for the moment, in trying to find a way to keep the relationship stable. But the security environment, the fact that Japan has moved closer uh, to supporting Taiwan and, and working with the United States to support Taiwan, uh, that the U.S.-Japan alliance is cooperating in ways that we just have never seen before, that Japan is pursuing uh, security ties with the Philippines and other countries across the region. I mean, it is very hard, I think, uh, to insulate the, the Japan-China economic relationship from all of those developments. And yes, Japanese companies, I think, have not given up on China. There's still a commitment in, in working on that economic relationship. But there's clearly, I, I, I think, the, the atmosphere around that economic relationship is much worse, I mean, just much more complicated than at any point uh, in the last you know, 25 or 30 years.